Hello and welcome back to my book corner for day two of our week of stories. I have chosen one of my favourite, favourite, favourite books to read to you today. And I have been reading this story since I was very, very little. And I was read this story by my teacher. And today I am going to read this story to you. And this story is called Can't You Sleep, Little Bear? one of my favourites and it's all about a little bear who tries really really hard to get to sleep but something is getting in the way. Should we find out what it is? Let's turn on our listening ears, click, get nice and comfortable because today's story is Can't You Sleep Little Bear and it is written by Martin Waddle and illustrated by Barbara Firth. Are you ready? Once there were two bears, Big Bear and Little Bear. Now Big Bear is the Big Bear and Little Bear is the Little Bear. And they played all day in the bright sunlight. When night came and the sun went down, Big Bear took Little Bear home to the bear cave. Big Bear put Little Bear to bed in the dark part of the cave. Go to sleep, Little Bear, he said. And Little Bear tried. Big Bear settled in the bear chair and read his bear book by the light of the fire. The little bear couldn't get to sleep. Can't you sleep, little bear? asked Big Bear, putting down his bear book, which was just getting to the interesting part, and he padded over to the bed. I'm scared, said little bear. Why are you scared, little bear? asked Big Bear. Mm, I don't like the dark, said little bear. What dark? said Big Bear. The dark all around us, said Little Bear. Big Bear looked and he saw that the dark part of the cave was very dark. So he went to the lantern cupboard and took out the tiniest lantern that was there. Big Bear lit the tiniest lantern and put it near to Little Bear's bed. There's a tiny light to stop you being scared, Little Bear, said Big Bear. Thank you, Big Bear said Little Bear, cuddling up in the glow. Now go to sleep, Little Bear, said Big Bear, and he padded back to the bear chair and settled down to read his bear book by the light of the fire. Little Bear tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. <sighs> Can't you sleep, Little Bear, said Big Bear, putting down his bear book with just four pages to go to the interesting part and padding over to the bed. I'm scared, said Little Bear. Why are you scared, Little Bear? asked Big Bear. I don't like the dark, said Little Bear. What dark, said Big Bear. The, the dark all around us, said Little Bear. But I bought you a lantern, said Big Bear. Oh, only a teeny weeny one, said Little Bear. And there's lots of dark. Big Bear looked and he saw that Little Bear was quite right. There was still lots of dark. So Big Bear went to the lantern cupboard and took out a bigger lantern. Big Bear lit the lantern and put it beside the other one. Now go to sleep, Little Bear, said Big Bear. And he padded back to the bear chair and settled down to read the bear book by the light of the fire. Little Bear tried and tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. Can't you sleep, Little Bear? grunted Big Bear, putting down his bear book with just three pages to go and padding over to the bed. I'm scared, said Little Bear. Why are you scared, Little Bear? asked Big Bear. I don't like the dark, said Little Bear. What dark? said Big Bear. All the dark all around us. But I bought you two lanterns, said Big Bear, a tiny one and a bigger one. Not much bigger, said Little Bear, and there's still lots of dark. Big Bear thought about it, and then he went to the lantern cupboard and took out the biggest lantern of them all, with two handles and a bit of chain. He hooked the lantern up above Little Bear's bed. I've bought you the biggest lantern of them all, he told Little Bear. That's to stop you being scared. Oh, thank you, Big Bear said Little Bear, curling up in the glow and watching the shadows dance. Now go to sleep, Little Bear, said Big Bear, and he padded back to the bear chair 
and settled down to read his bear book by the light of the fire. And little Bear tried and tried and tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. Can't you sleep, Little Bear? groaned Big Bear, putting down his bear book with just two pages to go and padded over to the bed. I'm scared, said Little Bear. Why are you scared, Little Bear? asked Big Bear. I don't like the dark, said Little Bear. Well, what dark? said Big Bear. All the dark all around us, said Little Bear. But I brought you the biggest lantern of them all and there isn't any dark left, said Big Bear. Yes, there is, said Little Bear. There is, out there. And he pointed out of the bear cave at the night. Big Bear saw that Little Bear was right. Big Bear was very puzzled. All the lanterns in the world couldn't light up the dark outside. Big Bear thought about it for a long time and then he said, Come on, Little Bear. Where are we going? asked Little Bear. Out, said Big Bear. Out into the darkness, said Little Bear. Yes, said Big Bear. Oh, but I'm scared of the dark, said Little Bear. No need to be, said Big Bear. And he took Little Bear by the paw and led him out from the cave into the night. And it was dark. Oh, I am scared, said Little Bear, cuddling up to Big Bear. Big Bear lifted Little Bear and cuddled him and said, Look at the dark, Little Bear. And Little Bear looked. I've bought you the moon. Little Bear, said Big Bear, the bright yellow moon and all the twinkly stars. But Little Bear didn't say anything. It had gone to sleep, warm and safe in Big Bear's arms. Big Bear carried Little Bear back into the bear cave, fast asleep, and he settled down with the Little Bear on one arm and the bear book on the other, cosy in the bear chair by the fire. And Big Bear read the bear book right to the end. I think it was bedtime for Big Bear as well. There are lots of different things that scare us, aren't there? Some people are scared of the dark and some people are scared of spiders. But there's always something to make us feel better and just like Little Bear, it was a nice big hug. I think it's time that we have a sleep now, don't you? So let's get into bed, pull up those covers, get nice and warm and cosy, close those eyes, and I will see you back here tomorrow for another story time in my book corner with me, Rockin' Ryan. But for now, bye-bye, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.